we are turning the security breach characters into spore animals. Oh no, what have I, <laughs> what have I done? Good old Gregory. <laughs> Never make a sound again, please. Oh my God, look at it. So to explain what we're doing, we are turning the security breach characters into spore animals. Spore is a very old video game, but it has a very powerful character creator. Let me show you what I mean. <laughs> so this is a Bonnie, right? The reason I picked Bonnie for this example is because Bonnie isn't in Security Breach. So I made Bonnie off stream. So now we've got to do it again. Okay, I think Freddy's a good starting point. Freddy is a bear, of course. So this is kind of going to be our guiding light. That is such a round bear. They're really round. I guess I should start off by making this a round bear. Okay, yeah, there we go. Bring it up a little bit. It looks like TBH. Well, it'll hopefully look more bear-like the more we work on it. Can I make him just a little bit bigger? I just really want to push the envelope of how big I can make this boy. Obviously, those legs are too tiny, so we want to make these legs thick. Yes. He looks like an emoji. Which emoji? <laughs> Which emoji possibly looks like this Panasonic? <laughs> oh my god, what is this? I think we'll get a better feel for what we're doing when we see his snout. So let's find a good bear snout. Is that a bear's mouth? That might be a dinosaur. Oh, maybe this is good. <laughs> oh my god, that is not even Freddy approximate. <laughs> we're getting there. Okay, now Freddy is a bear, is the thing. So I could stick him on all fours, like a bear. God, he's got a long neck. Freddy stands. <laughs> Get back down here, Freddy. Oh no, what have I, <laughs> what have I done? He's a Tic Tac. How did this happen? I mean, I like this. Stignus says he looks like a fall guy. He does look like a fall guy. I think this is good for his proportions, so now we can add some clothing. <laughs> the way he's posed looks like a meme. All right, so first up, top hat. A bow tie, right? He's got a little bow tie. There we go, there we go. Look at this lad. Oh, no, don't do that because then it, it comes out your neck. Oh, we're looking so Freddy right now. I'm in love with him, he's so cute. Don't do that with your neck though, Freddy. Don't do that with your neck. Oh, I guess I should put a microphone in his hand. I can fashion a microphone. Oh, this is good. There we go. That, my friends, is a Freddo. Huh? Let's see if I can get any of this stuff the appropriate color though. Oh my God. What is with the patterns? Oh, look at that. He looks like he's in a suit. That's a perfect Freddy right there. Let's take him for a test drive, shall we? Freddy, it's time for you to perform for us. Give us a little bit of a dance, Freddy. You know what? Unironically, that works pretty well. Oh, if only he could dab. He's perfect. When you sit down, let me see what happens to your body. <laughs> That's really cute. Can you zoom in as much as possible on his face as Funny Pan? Are you happy with what you've requested? Okay, what about a baby Freddo? What could this possibly look like? Oh my, oh my God, look at it. Oh my God, yes. God, I love him so much. Okay, I think we have pretty much nailed uh, the Freddy aesthetic. So everyone in the chat, out of 10, what do you think of Freddo? A 10, says Stevie Dragon. Okay, it seems like the chat are generally positive about Freddy. Okay, Freddy is complete. Who's next? I've seen quite a lot of Monty requests. So this is what we're aiming for. Monty's an alligator. Yeah, I think this is what we're looking for. He does have a big wide... S okay. We're already getting towards where we want to be with this, I think. Okay, let's add some legs. Oh my god. I think this may be upsetting. He looks like a rat. Look, he's gonna look less like a rat, I promise. 
I promise you he will look uh, beautiful soon. You know what? Just to make it a bit easier to know what's going on, I'm going to make him green. Oh no, that's not good, is it? Here's one thing about gators, actually. If you look at the reference image here, gators are very low to the ground, aren't they? That's a bit better. Oh yeah, that's looking more gator by the second. Oh no. He's a lost cause, leave him be, says Nutella Soap. Never. It's going to be like Freddy. We're going to do something and it's going to fundamentally alter his DNA and suddenly it's all going to click into place. So now I'm considering, do we want him standing or like this? Oh no, <laughs> that isn't what I wanted. I didn't know he would do this. Oh, I hate it. This isn't like a huggy wuggy version of Montgomery Gator. He's happy at least. Maybe this is the color scheme. <laughs> Can you stop laughing, Monty? This isn't a laughing matter. This is very serious. You know what I want to do, though? Monty's a strong boy. Okay, let's move on to the clothes. Let's see if I can get these glasses working. What do we have that's kind of star-shaped? What a cool dude. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is good stuff. Okay, yeah, this Monty is looking strong. Okay, let's have a look at colors again. Let's make the details purple. I think this is what we want. Yeah, this is my Monty. Let's take Monty for a spin. Yeah, this is pretty good. We should see what a baby Monty looks like. Hey, little guy. That is so cute. How do we feel about Monty? Monty Gator. People are less happy with Monty. But still fairly happy, but less. It's maybe middling. Middlingly happy. I'm seeing a lot of DJ Music Man's. DJ Music Man's got to be interesting. So you'll notice the animal reference is a beetle because he doesn't have eight legs like a spider. He only has six legs. If he is kind of like a bug, maybe now is the time. Oh God. Oh no. It's even worse when I make it muscly, right? Yeah. That's the boy. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I guess we've got to work on the head, don't we? I guess we've got to do it. <laughs> I like how Gabriella just says no. Let me just add the eyes. Let me have a look. <laughs> oh no. We need to add the DJ Music Man nose. Perfect. Perfection. Oh, don't do that. You know what? I think we're pretty good. The nose is pink, which is accurate. Let's move on to clothing. So if I can put this inside his head. Okay, that could be worse. Let's add some earphones now. Oh, this is actually not bad at all, right? This is actually coming together pretty nicely. Okay, they're not, they're not nipple piercings. Wait, does he have a top hat? He does. He has headphones and a top. Hold still. There we go. <laughs> it feels like I'm playing Security Breach. Yes, let's do what the chat is requesting. I dislike them. This is a new phobia unlocked. The way they like judder as well is pretty bad. That is DJ Music Man done, I believe. What do people think about DJ Music Man? Out of 10. Oh wow, people, people really do like DJ Music Man. Okay, who's next? Roxy or Bud? You know what? A lot of people have been asking for Roxy. So let's do Gregory. Okay, so Gregory is a human. Now, let me just say, this game isn't very good at humans. So let's make a little bean. That's a that's a boy shape. That's a little boy. Let's put some normal feet on this. <laughs> yep, looking good. Already I hate it. Limitless Chord says we don't need to continue with this. <laughs> no, look, it's all going to be fine. It's going to look reasonable as soon as I add the face. Don't worry about it. They say the eyes are the window into the soul. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. 
I'm looking at Gregory and I'm looking back and I'm thinking this is looking a lot like Gregory. Look at this gamer posture. This is a human mouth. See, that's the sound humans make. <laughs> Good old Gregory. Humans have ears. It's something you might forget, but humans have ears. Classic human. We need to give him human hands. Maybe that's why it doesn't look right. Okay, what else can we do? We need to give this boy some hair, don't we? He's got a, a beautiful head of hair. I have kind of made a kappa. Oh, Gregory. What are you looking for? You looking for Freddo? Keep an eye out for dangerous animatronics. No doubt. I don't know why he barks. He does occasionally bark. That's not to think about it too much. That's the Greg completed, I think. Is there anything else that makes Gregory Gregory? Oh yeah, he does have a band-aid, doesn't he? He has a band-aid on his cheek. Maybe a tiny mustache? I, th I think the mustache is the strat. There's everyone's favorite lost child, Gregory Five Nights. Let's take Gregory for a test drive. Gregory, I love your running posture. Walking posture? Just a casual stroll and then running posture, he runs like a hobbit. Oh god, god, we gotta see baby Gregory's, haven't we? We haven't done that yet. Oh no. Gregory. I mean, this one obviously is a 10 out of 10. So I don't even really need, need to ask, but just in case. People are rating him kill out of 10. Who's next? Let's do Sun and Moon. Their species is Ball. This is what we're going for, okay? I think what I'm gonna do is let's make them both in one being. <gasps> okay, look at it from this side, okay? Look at it from this side. There we go. This is just a gentleman approaching us. This is also a gentleman approaching us. You'd never know. We should pick who is Sun and who is Moon. I guess Moon is at the back. I guess that works. This side, Sunny Boy, he just kind of has white eyes and he's kind of nervous. All right, okay, so now let's work on facial structure. We need some mouths. Do I have a nice friendly grin? Oh God, that grin got substantially less friendly when he opened his mouth. I'm feeling like I don't quite see the sun and moon out of these two anymore. Maybe he's just not quite kissable yet. Does that improve things? No, that's substantially worse. Okay, let's add some sunniness, right? Let's add some sun things. We need some spikes on the sun. See? Trust the process. Is this adding anything? Yes. If I took this off, he would be more round, but then you'd be able to see whatever we're doing over here. And I think that would ruin the illusion. So I think this is actually an important buffer. You know what? It's painful, but I think we're just gonna have to go to coloring. I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off. There's gotta be a way to achieve this. Never make a sound again, please. Let's add some clothes. This should help clear things up. Yeah, that's the hat, right? That's the boy's hat. Moon is mostly concerned with the time. So there's a little watch for him to check. That is just, just like their ones. It's indistinguishable. Okay, let's take him out for a spin. Where are all your friends? But what's this? Oh no, it's past closing time. It's past your... <laughs> it's... Sun, let me see moon. It's past your bedtime. Oh my God. Oh no. Okay, this is the worst one I've ever seen. Okay, let's make it give birth. But first, let's see what it looks like when it runs. Oh God. <laughs> Look at moon. <laughs> I'm really choked. Okay. Time for babies. Oh my word. What about Moon? I need to see Moon. Hello, sorry to interrupt. It's backseat from the edit here. Oh no. Turns out there's a lot of characters in Security Breach and this video was getting a little long. God, that mouth. People aren't super into <laughs> Sun and Moon. So let's leave it there for now with Sun and Moon with part two coming very soon. If you're craving more blasphemous content right now, however, remember you can watch all my playthroughs, including this one, on my Twitch page here.
It's like a Silent Hill monster. If Twitch isn't really your thing though, that's fine. But if you enjoyed this video, I'd ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss out on part two. Well, with that out of the way, all I've got left to say is thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you very soon.